Dad, I keep seeing stress-strain graphs in my materials class. What are they actually showing me? That graph tells you how a material responds to force, Steve. And three key things it shows are Young's modulus, yield strength, and ductility. Okay, hit me with the first one. Young's modulus is the slope of the initial straight part of the curve. It's a measure of stiffness. The steeper the slope, the more force it takes to stretch the material. So high modulus means it doesn't stretch easily? Exactly. Materials like steel or diamond have a high Young's modulus. They're very stiff. Rubber, very low modulus. Stretches easily. What about yield strength? That's the stress level where the material starts to deform permanently. Up to that point, it'll bounce back. After that, it's plastic deformation. It won't return to its original shape. So you can bend it a little, and it's fine, but bend it too far and it's done? Precisely. Engineers use yield strength to make sure structures stay elastic, not permanently bent or warped. And ductility? Ductility is how much a material can stretch or deform before it breaks. On the graph, it's how far it goes along the strain axis before fracture. So something can be strong but not ductile? Yep. Cast iron is strong but brittle. Aluminum or copper, more ductile. They can bend and stretch without snapping. So stiffness, yield, and ductility are like a material's personality traits. Exactly. And knowing them helps engineers pick the right material for the right job, from bridges to bike frames.